Sunday night Walmart ritual has to go down right now. Saturday night, my bad. But I am trying to come here during the day and sit in traffic. I had to sit in enough traffic as it is, believe it or not, at 10. So let's get in here. And I really, really want to make it to La Granja for dinner as a reward for such an epic day. So let's get into Walmart, get our shit. Let's make it to La Granja. Let's do this. Some good news though. Came for Arctic Zeros because there's nothing else. Found Halo Tops. What? All right, let's ride, let's ride. Um, me pueden dar un número cinco. Sin maduros con vegetales. Boot's about to go down. Check this out. Doing it big right now. A thousand calories of pure goodness. Shout out to my boy, Lamar Bird. For the t-shirt, link in the description. It's one of my better friends from school who was pretty much bodybuilding when I first got into it competitively, so. You gotta check him out on Insta and on his uh, YouTube. Yeah, I'll link him in the description. Put that shit. Alright guys, I'm going to sit back, watch some Jay Cutler, and enjoy this to the Max Bros piece. I wish you guys could feel this weather right now. I just stepped outside because it's so nice. It is. 70 degrees, baby please, on a Sunday. So um, let's weigh in. Had a nice cheat meal. Anyways, like I was saying, it's a beautiful morning on Sunday and uh, had a nice cheat meal. It was a Friday. I don't even really remember Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. I'm gonna try to keep it Thursday, Sunday schedule of enjoying food. But, anyways, let's weigh in. Alright, so that's the lightest weigh in so far. Definitely losing. Um, whatever you want to call it, size, mass, fat, water, I suppose muscle, but um, tomorrow on Monday we start the 8CG therapy, so this should be fun. And the decision of the morning is hard to make, hard to make, but how many of you are triggered by the fact that I use this instant coffee? It's mildly triggering. Instant classico, classico physique. Drink this and bounce. Yeah. Alright guys, hopefully it's not too windy. Cars dropped off to get washed and I figured perfect time to do my off day cardio. Get some sun. Technically multitasking. She's getting washed. I'm getting cardioed up with some sun. That's how I'm starting my day. Go home, eat a meal, and uh, get to work. So just chilling. Do your cardio, guys. And get some sun and take your vitamin D3. Seriously.
right guys, thanks for tuning into this one. Currently doing this voice over the day after the workout and to be honest, my back is really tired from all those deadlifts. Even though the weight is super light, it's still a struggle for me to get back to where I want to be. It's a combination of having to sit for hours and hours and hours and study and just trying to bring that volume back in and find a way that I can deadlift where it's not going to aggravate what I aggravated back in December when I had to do negatives with 405 and definitely screwed up muscles and or my spine. So it's been a process. Squatting feels good, but deadlifting feels, I don't know, it's hard to say. These felt really good, these snatch grip ones, because I was able to take more of a squat stance. Um, but when I have to take a narrower stance and do conventional, it just doesn't feel right. So maybe sumo or a snatch grip style is going to be better. I haven't even thought about sumo until just now. But um, yeah, I'll let you guys watch a squat set and then I'll pop back in. Uh. Remind me to get those lock jaw collars. Thank God it's with the lightweight. I didn't even feel the difference until I looked down, but that's it for the deadlift portion. It's coming back, to be honest. My spine feels better the wider stance that I take. I feel like when I take a closed stance with my feet, that I can't sit my ass down and be erect like I would be in a squat. So basically a wide stance squat for me is better for my back. And a wide stance deadlift seems to be as well, so we're gonna incorporate that. Now let's do some light front squats and fucking continue this workout. Stomach is cash, I don't know what happened, unlucky. Just gotta push through. So we did get into squatting and like I said, it felt really good. This was 125 on the front squat and it felt extremely, extremely light. Obviously it is, but I'm really happy with my form and really happy with how it feels. I just gotta work on keeping my head up a little bit more, but there's really nothing to look at in front of me and I don't like looking at the mirror too much, so the floor is kind of natural feeling, but it is what it is. Honestly, that's been the easiest squat set on this off cycle, training cycle, bringing squats and deads back. So let's move on, finish up the back, finish up some uh, whatever else we can get in. Stomach is feeling better. But I woke up at like 7 or 8 a.m. with some epic runs, full disclosure. So, you know how that shit goes. Fuck, man. Let's finish up and get our ass out of here. Squat's feeling good. One more set. And yeah, guys, that's going to bring us to the rest of the workout. Hit the deads, hit some squats, which again are feeling really good. And uh, then I went into some shrugs and a lot of back work. So I did four sets of pull-ups, four sets of rows, um, and it was really, really intense. I was trying to hit 15 reps on this, and I pretty much couldn't make it light enough to get four sets of 15. So again, like I said earlier in that little um, live video, I woke up this morning at like 8 a.m. with a serious stomach bug, and I wasn't going to skip the workout because then it would have been like four days since working out, and I would have skipped deads and legs. And I didn't want to not be consistent, so I figured a shitty workout was better or having to cut a workout short would be better than just skipping it. So I went in and it actually was fine. It was perfect, so I can't complain. I was able to finish the workout and able to get it done quickly. What we just gotta do is bring the deadlift back slowly and figure out what's gonna be best for me. So hopefully that means something, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys soon, peace.